so it looks like this oh yeah amazing hi there again everyone this is again alan and welcome back to my watercolor channel today i'm going to be continuing with my three video series of my unboxing experience and for those who have not seen yet the first video i'll be linking it here it's about the general watercolor art materials that i got in the past months and today the video that you are watching now will be about my mechanical pencil collection and i'm so excited so let's now go so before we start, let me first show you the mechanical pencils that I already have. So I have with me a uh, Faber-Castell Grit Plus 0.7. I bought this in Tokyo in 2017. And my current favorite is the Graph Gear 1000 Pentel. I also have a Graph 1000 for Professional. This is 0.4. This is 0.5 by the way. I also have a Stadler um, Mars Technico uh, clutch pencil. This is I remember 2.0 millimeters, and I also have a Stadler graphite. The code is already erased, but this is just an inexpensive mechanical pencil that's very effective and very tough. Also, I've been using this for years now, and also I have the uh, Kawiko Special S. 2.0 from Germany. This was gifted to me by my book publisher. So here are my existing mechanical pencils and one clutch pencil. In this mechanical pencil hole, I uh, purchased three Roaching uh, mechanical pencils. So let's begin with the Roaching Rapid Pro. And this is 0.5. It's 1,584 Philippine pesos or roughly 32 US dollars from Shining Star PH from Shopee and I got this in October 2020 so it's kept safely in this box with bubble wrap but it's not taped so here is the box it's like Toblerone <laughs> chocolate so Rapid Pro 0.5 millimeters Wow, the box is just really very minimal and the pen is just so slick. And what I really love about this is that you can actually hide the pen sleeve. So you can actually protect your pen with that. So you can actually hide it like that. So it's safe in your pocket and also in your bag. Our next roaching item is the roaching 600 limited edition. I chose the dark green version and you know dark green is my favorite color. Any shade of dark green is good for me so I got this. I got this for 1622 Philippine pesos or roughly 33 US dollars from HO1W57. This is from Lazada Philippines and I got this on September. The box looks abused, I know, but I hope the pen is just fine inside. So it's very much protected with bubble wrap and tape. And I believe the seller is from Japan or China, I'm not sure. Oops, so we got an eraser here, a roaching eraser. So I did not expect it. It comes with this. I did not read the uh, product description well. So wow, we got lots of freebies, I think. So here is a leather um, sleeve. Maybe just leatherette for the pen. And here is a... Uh, metal container but they did not put the pen there they kept it in the original box and it also comes with the uh, roaching 2b leads so it's a complete package so finally here is the box of the roaching um, 600 this is also 0.5 mm oh wow I love it look at that look at the color Roaching 600 
has the same feels as the Road King Pro but you cannot I think keep the lead sleeve so you need extra care in using this oh it's raining but I really love the color now our next rotating item is the Rotring 800 retractable mechanical pencil this is also 0.5 millimeters and uh, I got it for 1842 Philippine pesos or roughly 37 US dollars from Galleon PH it was my first time to order from Galleon PH and I got this on September 2020 also so here is the same box same as the 600 and Pro here is our pencil wow I think I love this more because the lead sleeve is entirely hidden so it is safer oh you need to twist the cap the eraser cap so it looks like this oh yeah amazing it looks so sturdy and it feels sturdy also because it's I think solid very solid it's metal so I believe this is gonna last long and I hope my expectations will be met and since Tadler is already an established and trusted brand to me I got two mechanical pens actually they're the same pens um, same Stadler 925 mechanical pencil but the other one is a limited edition a gold one and the other one is the standard blue one so let's first open the gold the limited edition and I got this for 1378 Philippine pesos or roughly 28 US dollars this is 0.5 and I got it from Taobao account at Lazada I believe this is from Japan or China I'm not sure I can't um, remember anymore but anyway I'll be linking all the sellers of these pencils at the description box so if you are interested to uh, trying them out just check the description box so yeah this is a lot of bubble wrap for this just small item oh and it also comes with a free eraser and lead but this is sakura not stadler maybe they ran out of stock already and yeah they got an official receipt with me here so here is the box really premium looking because it's a limited edition so this really excites me really Mm. This is so satisfying to do. So here comes, I guess, a warranty card. Let's take out the box. Oh, hmm. It looks nice, it looks fine, but this is not, I believe, the item that I, uh, so on uh, the advertisement of the product that I got but uh, I will be uh, showing a screenshot to you of the uh, item that I believe <laughs> because this looks more like a rose gold color not gold not actually gold because a gold is more yellow than this but anyway it says here Stadler 925 35 limited Japan and it looks very nice it looks fine only that this is not the color I was expecting to receive but yeah it looks fine now for our next Stadler item I have here a box from jump bid who's a seller at Shopee Philippines and along with the Stadler 925 mechanical pencil it comes with another order of mine which is a Kohinoor 5.6 clutch um, pencil and a refill set so let's open this I always buy at jump bid I bought lots of fountain pens from him the box 
or the container is tight so I need to totally uh, destroy it <laughs> So here is the six piece lead set. This is 5.6 millimeters and this is Gioconda 6 from Koinur. This is for the clutch pencil. So where is the uh, where is the stabler? So this is the clutch pencil. This is a uh, Koinur 5.6 clutch. Um, versatile pencil 5359 that is the product code and it looks gigantic because it's 5.6 millimeters I think this is the biggest um, lead ever that I've seen yeah, but I like it it perfectly fits my <laughs> my palm and what's really special about this is that it has a lead sharpener in its cap so if you want to sharpen of course your lead you may use this sharpener this is really special for this and i'm so excited to use this anyway i got this for 1100 philippine pesos or roughly 22 us dollars so this now is our stadler 925 mechanical pencil i chose the blue one they also have a silver one this is also 0.5 millimeters and i got this for 795 philippine pesos or roughly 16 us dollars and it looks so royal so regal and yeah it says here 9253505 japan and let's compare it quickly with the uh, limited gold edition so here they both look nice but I think the blue one looks more attractive now for our next mechanical pen I got a platinum pro use 171 mechanical pencil this is also 0.5 I got this for 1495 Philippine pesos or 30 US dollars I chose the blue one and I got this from Shangzi Jun Yu Wan Baoji.ph account at Shopee Philippines on October 2020. And according to Jet Pens, this is the uh, number one mechanical pencil. So let's see if it is really the number one. And I'm. Oh my god, what's this? Did they. Did they send me the right item? Did they send me the right item? Or they just used this box for a mechanical pencil? This is so ridiculous. Oh my. Only for adult use. Oh my god. <laughs> I hope this is a mechanical pencil. Okay, it looks... Yeah, it looks like... Yes, I feel so much relieved to see a mechanical pencil now. Yes, after seeing this box, yeah, you made me feel very nervous. So it has the same blue color as the 925 of Stadler, but the Proyus 171 looks more rugged, feels more rugged, it's heavier. So, yeah. I'm so excited to use them both. Now for our next mechanical pencil, I have the uh, engineer's pencil as they call it. And uh, it says here 5-in-1 multifunctional mechanical pencil. It's 199 each or roughly 4 US dollars from martial arts and crafts at Lazada. I got this on October 2020. And it comes with a free mask and a sticker. So... This is really sweet of you. Uh, martial Arts and Crafts. So I got two because they have uh, two colors. They have a yellow and a black. And what's really special about this is that they act as rulers. And aside from that, the tip also acts as a, a stylus for iPad or for tablet. And it also has here small screwdriver. 
Our next fountain pen is the Unishift Mitsubishi Mechanical Pencil. This is from Japan. And this time I got a 0.9 millimeter. This is 855 Philippine pesos or roughly 17 US dollars from 90yyqz96.ph account at Shopee Philippines. So there's nothing to worry about the sellers because I'll be linking their stores at the description box. So how do oh so here is the pen in bubble wrap again. So yep, that's it. No special plastic box or metal container. So how do you bring the lead sleeve out? You need to twist it. Okay. Yes. So the red is the 0.9. So it says here Unishift. 0.9 this looks very simple and professional also our next mechanical pen is the pentel orange this time i got the 0.2 millimeters this is 690 philippine pesos or 14 us dollars from patricia m villarreal um account at shopee philippines and i got this in may 2020 this is the oldest and I believe 0.2 millimeters is the, you know, the smallest lead in a uh, mechanical pencil. Correct me if I'm wrong. Correct me if there is, you know, 0 0.1 millimeters. Oh, the packaging is super tight. So here is, it says here 0.2 orange. So let's open it. So here is our pen and the black part is really nice because it's matte and it looks so neat. So here it says Pentel Orange PP102G 0.2. So let's bring out the lid. Yes, it looks super fine. No, it doesn't have a uh, lead loaded yet so i need to purchase you know the leads separately so now here is a package from artillery philippines i got a uno kurutoga roulette or roulette how do i read this properly mechanical pencil this is 0.5 millimeters i got the silver one and i got it for 630 philippine pesos or roughly 13 us dollars and that was in august 2020 and I also purchased some LEDs because, you know, I got 0 0.4, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. So those are not common pens because I only have um, 0.7 and 0.5 with me because those are my existing pens um, sizes for the LED. So here's the 0 0.2, here's the 0 0.4, and 0 0.3. And another point three, I actually prefer B over HB. I love soft lids. I will also link these items at the description box. So don't worry. I've already forgotten how much each um, lead pack is. So here is the Kurutoga. And it looks very modern with its color. So be careful in using your cutters whenever you're opening packs like this. So here is our Unikuru Toga 0.5. It has an orange dot here. I think that is its you know, uh, identity. And our final mechanical pen in this unboxing video is the Zebra Delgard Blue Gold um, Limited Edition. And this is the ER version. I got this at Ruana Gale Vicencio account at Shopee Philippines. And uh, I got this for 600 Philippine pesos or roughly 12 US dollars. So it says here, thank you, keep safe. So thank you also. This very securely packed. So there's 
a protective box here. Oh, nice. So this is the Delgard Zebra A Type ER, and it comes with um, this is I think eraser. And I remember this has a special feature, but I don't remember exactly what it is anymore. So I hope I uh, remember upon testing these out quickly. Oops. So here's the pen. Oh, it looks very regal and royal also because of the combination of uh, blue and gold colors. So it says here Zebra Delgard 0.5. So the system. Oh, I already remember the feature. Um, okay, so when you are writing like that, the eraser is kept intact in the cap or at the top part. But when you put it upside down like that, the eraser will come out. See that? It will come out like that, but you cannot push it back. But when you return writing, it will automatically hide the eraser. It's gonna save you, you know, small effort. So I remember that's the reason why I got this over the other models. But, but I'm starting to have a nice grip experience here because this is rubberized but the lead sleeve is kind of short for you know for ruled drawings anyway this is not the review yet but i'm glad that they have here extra erasers maybe this size is not a common size so they provided a spare so they have here two i wish they had provided more at least three so that it fits this container well <laughs> but anyway thank you so here now are our mechanical pencils and all in all i have unboxed in this video 13 mechanical pencils and they're now going to be part of my collection so now i have a total of 19 mechanical pencils and i'm itching to have one more to make it 20 but let's see but yeah as of today these are my mechanical pencils and i hope you stay tuned for our next video our last video for this series it's for the fountain pen collection and it's more crazy than this so see you on the next video and if you're not subscribed yet please do subscribe to show support to my channel and also please don't forget to like and share this video so see you on the next video thank you for watching